you know, the abomination. You're living it. Welcome to it. Glad you're aboard. Um, now, we're efforting uh, Rich Fowler, Democratic uh, strategist, and we're going to talk a little bit uh, about the uh, the wonderful ACA, the Affordable Care Act. It's so wonderful. It's so affordable. It's so special. Thank you, Dr. Obama. I like to say thank you, Dr. Obama, whenever I can because, you know, you can't thank uh, somebody enough sometimes if uh, they've uh, – <laughs> if they've done so much for you to make your life better, improve your health care, give you better insurance, you name it, um, thanking Dr. Obama just, just seems like the, uh, the thing to do. Just seems like the thing to do. So let's welcome in uh, Rich Fowler, Democratic strategist. Hey, Rich, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. Thanks for having me on the show. It's my pleasure. Thanks for joining us. Um, so uh, your take on uh, this uh, this disaster, the, here's the latest, basically. Um, I mean, I could play uh, 10,000 sound bites of not only Obama saying uh, no one's going to make you change your insurance, no one's going to take it away from you, period. Not now, not later, not going to happen. Uh, he even said in 2010 that if you have a, a policy you like, it'll be grandfathered in, he said. Well, of course, now Jay Carney's saying, well, uh, what the president meant to say was nobody could take your insurance away except your insurance company. And why would they do that? Well, because it doesn't meet all the ridiculous requirements of Obamacare. So he kind of left that out, Obama, for three years. I guess it's what the meaning of the word, you know, take away is. <laughs> I, I, I mean, I love that explanation of it. I don't think it's really that simple. Um, and to be honest, uh, you know, uh, I think when you say take, uh, and I, when I think you think of the Obamacare regulations, if you're saying making sure that a woman gets a mammogram screening, no, 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 no. Let me explain, Rich. I'm not going. I'm not going to sit here through the baloney. What I'm saying is, uh, the president oh, no, said, if baloney. you like your policy, no one's going to take it away from you. Not now. Not ever. Period. And now, because <laughs> because an individual male doesn't have maternity coverage, and because a senior citizen doesn't have uh, maternity coverage and birth control coverage in their current policy, they lose it. Now, how much sense does that make, Rich? Well, let's talk. Well, let's talk about facts, and let's not let's not play games here, right? So let's think. Let's look at it this way first. Eighty percent of Americans already. Re I'm no, 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 no. I'm not. I'm not listening to Jay Carney again. I asked you a question. Why did the president answer, lie to answering, us for three years? I'm, I'm answering your question. If you allow me to answer the question, I will. No worries. Sure, go All ahead. What I'm saying is, yeah. is that eighty percent of Americans already get health care coverage through their job, through Tricare, through Medicaid, through Medicare. So we're talking about the five percent of Americans that are that are losing their health care coverage or that haven't changed in their health care coverage, of that 5%, 50% of them qualify for the tax subsidy. I don't give a and rat's behind. I don't care. I want to know why the president, okay, you're not answering now, the question, why did he lie for three years? Are you going to answer that question? The president never lied. Never lied. Never he, lied so so, so what president he meant to said, say was 2.5% of you will lose it, but that's not what he said, was it? He said no one. Did he not, or you want no, me to said, play he, that for he, you? No, let's be very clear. Let's be very clear what the president says. If you like your health care coverage, <laughs> yeah, if you like your health care coverage, yeah. and you like your doctor, you will be able to keep your doctor and keep your health care coverage for 80 percent, more than that, 82.5 percent of Americans. That is the case. Oh, so when he was talking to everybody, he really wasn't. He should have said well, 80 percent. He just and, forgot. Oh, okay. So the millions of, the of people, of those, the millions of people who are getting their notices, they kind of got left out because they don't really count because they're only 2 percent. You know, but I, listen, I got to oh, tell you. Oh, I see you. now. I see. The constitutional okay. lawyer and scholar couldn't figure that out. I see. He didn't lie. He just left something out by accident. Was it by accident you know, he left it out? A, let's, well, let's have a real conversation. Uh, Rich, I, you, you, companies... Rich, you're embarrassing. You really are. You really are. No, I'm the not president no, 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 no. didn't say. The president what's didn't say. What's, oh. what's in, wait a minute. What's embarrassing is the fact that individuals, people in the Republican Party, will do everything. To uh, right, right. The Republican Party, the right. Party get the exists. hostages, no, gun take, hostage you takers, take gun away. to the head. You guys Come on, get it all in jihadists. Go ahead. For three million young people right, to get health care right, insurance. Right, 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 right. You know, Rich, 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 Rich. What do you tell the women who are who are going? What do you tell the women who have been featured in CBS? Yes, NBC, the families, the the uh, the I, I had Ted Rawl, the cartoonist, liberal as, as they get, who said this is a 
disaster. His health insurance no, now is 300 a month. It's no. going to go to 600 a month. His deductible is going to double, and they're going to pay only 50%, not 80. I guess Obama forgot to tell us that too, right? Come on. No, no, Come on. Would you no, give me a break? Wrong. There is there are issues. There's definitely there's clearly issues with the website. Not the there website, my friend. Up. The policies, the costs, the premiums, the, the deductibles. There's issues, there's issues with. I don't, listen, there's issues with the rollout. There's no question about that. But with that being said, people are finally getting health care coverage. <laughs> we have spent years, there's loads of them trying to fix the health care system. Right, people finally are finally getting, it. Fixed, how people are getting uh, uh, How many people are getting health care coverage, Rich? Rich, how many people are getting health care coverage, Rich? Young. We can talk about 50 million people that now right, qualify right, for right. coverage right. who didn't qualify before okay, because Rich. they the condition. Rich, I guess you, I, I'm sorry. I, enough, enough. Can we go by? Yeah, I want to cut it off because I asked you a question. You still haven't answered it. I said, why did the president lie when he said no one, not 80 percent and 5 percent and half of the 5 percent and half. I said, no one is what the president said. No one means no one. Like, I did not have sexual relations with that woman, Ms. Lewinsky. He lied. He did. And he said he was sorry. This president doesn't have it in him to say he was sorry. And he lied. He lied over and over and over. Now I'm hearing, oh, well, you see, it, it is true for most of the people, not what the president said and not what we're seeing, not what we're seeing at all. So, Rich, you know, take the talking points. He's bashed Republicans, blah, 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 blah. You want to be honest, you come back. Steve Malsberg Show.